everyone, what's up? It's Cubs Fan Han back for a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and let me give a quick shout out to my buddies at gaming-fans.com. Go ahead, check them out. They're also on Twitter at gaming fans dfn and today we are going to be talking about jedi in the arena yes jedi in the arena and let me tell you a little story about how this came to be i got in a big debate recently with some of my buddies in my uh, community on our discord server the point was risen that jedi suck in the arena they suck in the game they're just not very good and me as a jedi lover myself i was i was a bit triggered what did you say We got into a debate about how viable Jedi should be. And the point was risen that, you know, uh, the clones or other factions are a lot better than Jedi in this game. And, well, I mean, t in fairness, the clones did murder, like, all the Jedi. Too soon? But the Jedi are still kind of the heart and soul in Star of Star Wars, in my opinion. And so I wanted to test out Jedi in the arena in particular. Um, I don't think we're going to find much raid use for them. Um, territory battles, they might have some. Um, they're going to be good for maybe a B or C team in territory battles. But let's see if the Jedi can beat the meta with Hermit Yoda. A lot of you are probably getting close to unlocking Hermit Yoda uh, with territory battles. You, you know, we've had, uh, what, four territory battles now. I think we're in our fifth. And so we're probably getting closer to the point where some of you are going to have Hermit Yoda. And the question is going to be, can you use Hermit Yoda with Jedi to take the Jedi to viability from obscurity and take top spots in the arena? So that is what we're going to talk about today. All right. So to test this out, we are going to go into my test account where I do have Hermit Yoda unlocked at seven stars so I can show you what his potential is. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at my Jedi in particular. I do have seven Jedi that are ready to go. We got Hermit Yoda, Old Ben, Kanan, Ezra, Qui-Gon Jinn, Jero, Kenobi, and Ayla. And we're going to test out all of them in different combinations, different leaderships, that kind of thing. So what is it about Hermit Yoda's kit that's going to make him take the Jedi to the next level in theory? Um, if you look at him, he does a lot of healing. You guys already know that. He's going to heal on his basic, which doesn't even do an attack. Master's training is going to be putting this buff all around your team and then everyone's going to be eventually swarming when you get it on everyone so that's really good um and then we also have um let's see strength flows to the force where all allies are going to have their health percentages equalized and then when you add the zeta it's going to be minus a cooldown it's going to have a 20 percent protection recovery as well which is huge um, and then Jedi allies will gain foresight for two turns. So he actually kind of functions like a Grandmaster Yoda in that respect where he's going to be spreading that foresight with his Zeta. But this time also with protection gain. So that's very good. His unique in exile is going to gain him stealth for two turns, which is going to make him very hard to beat. And then while he has stealth, he's going to have 100% evasion. So it's going to be very difficult to just take Yoda out, which I think will make him pretty dang good on defense. And then lastly, we have do or do not. Which is whenever an ally with master's training buff is defeated, Yoda will gain 100% turn meter. And when you add a Zeta to it, he's going to have his cooldowns reset. So out of the Zetas for Hermit Yoda, I'm going to say this one's a little less important. It's nice to just have that turn meter gain. You don't necessarily need that cooldown reset to take it to, you know, viability um, if that's going to happen. But the uh, strength flows from the force is absolutely going to be a Zeta ability I think I would want to give to Hermit Yoda to make him work very well. So let's go ahead and test this out. And we are going to test this out against the meta. So first and foremost, let's go against this uh, traditional meta team, I would say right now, that I think is kind of maybe the consensus meta. I don't know. I don't want to debate it. But um, Commander Luke, Raid Han, R2-D2, Thrawn, and General Kenobi. That's one of the most powerful teams out there right now. And the first team let's test this with is with Qui-Gon Jinn lead. We do need a Zeta on Qui-Gon, Hermit Yoda, Old Ben, and then uh, General Kenobi and Aayla Sakura. All right, let's head into the battle. All right, so to start with, he is going to stun my uh, Qui-Gon. And I am going to give Master's Training to somebody right away. And I'm going to want to give that to the higher DPS characters right away. I'm thinking in this case, that's probably... 
Qui-Gon, but he's stunned. I, I'm not sure if it will come out. Let, let's do Ayla just in case. Um, even though she's going to dodge, I want her to have it right away. Let's go ahead and land an ability block. And then see if I can't stun here. Alright, great. That was good. And then let's go ahead and do... Let's see. We've got two Foresights out here already. So I think I might just do Yoda's basic and save it. Maybe Qui-Gon Jinn will take a big hit here in a minute. And then a Humbling Blow here. We're going to want to do that so that we gain offense up. That way we can burn through these teams quicker. When you're going against Rebels, something to keep in mind is that they're going to have a lot higher DPS than you. So really, this is about chipping away, chipping away, keeping your team alive with Hermit Yoda. Um, let's go ahead and taunt with Old Ben. Um, now let's go ahead and give uh, some protection. Okay, that's good. So you just want to chip away, chip away, and then um, slowly win the battle. A lot of these battles are probably going to go on for a while. You might be pushing uh, time. I have not had a problem yet, though. Okay, let's give this to Qui-Gon Jinn. Now we've got Qui-Gon and Ayla attacking. That's good. We're making progress here on um on general kenobi on the other side all right let's keep oh uh oh Ooh, i almost lost old ben okay let's go ahead and do this i really need to get general kenobi out of the way almost there let's heal with yoda uh oh old ben is really close if he dies we might be in trouble um and now he is uh general kenobi is stealth so i'm gonna hope that we can crit somebody soon so that he comes out of stealth. Boom. All right. Oh, and he uh, got re-stealth. All right. Let's go ahead and heal a bit. All right. We're going to just keep attacking Commander Luke. And old Ben is out. That is not good. Um, I think we still might be okay. But that definitely does complicate things. Uh, we really just need to find a way to attack General Kenobi. All right. Now he is out. Let's go ahead and add Master's Training to General Kenobi. And now we've got three attacking. They are... Taking General Kenobi out of the battle. And now we've got Commander Luke down into just health. Uh, my concern now is that he does a call to action. But, ooh, we got an assist and he is taken out. That's one thing I love about having Ayla in there. Is you're always going to have that assist chance. Which is just really cool. Let's try to stun Raidhan. Not quite. And he got a counter, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. And we need to pick up the pace here because you can see the time. This is one catch probably to running uh, these Jedi teams. With Hermit Yoda, is it's it's a very chip away style of play, and so you kind of run into time. And we just took Han out. That's really sweet. Let's just go ahead and do Master's Training Swarm Attack. And uh, you can see here that we are chipping away at this meta team. Um, even though they took out Old Ben, I don't really know if this battle feels that close. Um, right now, we, we still have a lot of health and protection going on. They're down to two, and we're able to um, seemingly win the battle assuming we can get here before time runs out that might be the only catch but the team ends up being just so survivable because of uh, because of hermit yoda it's really cool to see all right and there we wrap it up so first battle is a success we're able to win with jedi against the current meta that's really cool so let's try it with a different team let's go ahead and take a look here we've got um Let's actually go against uh, Zeta Barris teams here uh, for the second one. So this is my, uh, this is Warriors team, and let's try a different team. Let's see. Why don't we do Old Ben in leadership? Let's try throwing Ezra in there and Kanan. This is a very different combination, very different leadership, different style. I'm interested to see how this would work as well. All right, so Ezra gets stunned out the gate, and we're gonna have to attack uh, General Kenobi, which is fine. That's probably what I do anyway. Um, let's go ahead and give this to Ezra because he's going to be our highest DPS character. You want him attacking on every swarm. We can still ability block with old Ben. Let's do total defense. And I do have a Zeta ability on Kanan here. Um, let's give this to Ezra because he's kind of getting down there. And then when that expires, you'll see it, Kanan just gained 100% turn meter, which is great. Um, I'm going to save Flourish to see if we can do it when there are no buffs. Let's call um, Kanan to assist, because that gives him even more protection. All right, let's give this to General Kenobi so we can cleanse him. It's good. And again, you can see here, it's really just a chip away style of play. Just chipping away slowly. You can see we, we've barely taken a hit here, pretty much, because of, uh, because of what Yoda is able to do. Uh, and we're still just chipping away at General Kenobi slowly but surely. All right, I'm just going to do Flourish. Let's do Total Defense again. Let's give it to... 
Um, oh, everyone has Foresight, so it really doesn't matter. Let's just give it to General Kenobi then, because it'll give him some uh, protection up. Uh-oh, and Old Ben is in trouble again. I think we'll be okay. Alright, keep going. Let's keep going at General Kenobi here. Um, let's cleanse Old Ben. He's got a lot of buffs on him right now. Alright, debuffs, I should say. Alright, we're getting closer here on General Kenobi. Let's give some protection up to General Kenobi. Alright, and he's down in the yellow. Let's try to get him before Barris is able to heal. Good, we've got another uh, Grandmaster's training. Let's go ahead and give this to General Kenobi, I think. Oh, and we took him out before Barris was able to heal. That's huge. Alright, now let's go ahead and chip away at um, Raid Han. And you can see here, this, this Barris does have a Zeta. Um, this team isn't super critical hit heavy. And so you're, you're able to... Um, handle these Barris teams with a little more ease. I didn't even really have to worry about her on getting rid of General Kenobi. That's that's really nice to not have that stress. All right, old Ben is in trouble here. Hopefully, Hermit Yoda can go again soon um, to uh, heal him. I think we might have his big heal attack here ready, or uh, ability, I should say. All right, let's ability block. I don't think I want to taunt right now. Boom, okay, we're going to take old Ben straight up to full health. That is really good. And uh, we're stealthed on Han, so we're going to have to go for Barris. That's okay. Really need to pick up the pace here. So this is, again, one of the bigger catches that I am seeing with this team is you kind of start running into um, some time crunch with them. All right, let's go ahead and give this to uh, Kanan. And that swarm attack is sweet. Really needed. Uh, the swarm attacks are really needed because these teams are just lower DPS. Oops, and I got a notification there. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's do, um, let's give this to Qui-Gon Jinn, or I, I, I should say General Kenobi. All right, let's get Han out of here and Barris next. Oh, we did get a critical hit there, so she did heal. So we're two for two so far against really meta teams with really good mods um, with the Jedi. All right, so let's go ahead and try another team. This time, um, let's go ahead and attack uh, this first team again uh, that we attacked. And let's try it with, how about Qui-Gon Jinn, Ezra, Hermit Yoda, General Kenobi, and Old Ben. So we're going to work Ezra in here with the Qui-Gon Jinn leadership. I do think Qui-Gon Jinn's leadership is probably going to be the best because you have so much foresight and it gives you that speed boost which is really, really good to have. Um, let's call Qui-Gon Jinn. Or actually, because that was going to be resisted, you probably want to just go ahead and call a tank so at least you benefit from that um, from that protection up. So that was probably a mistake on my part. Um, okay, let's ability block. We got uh, Qui-Gon Jinn fractured here. That should be manageable. We're going to do Flourish. Try to burn through uh, General Kenobi as soon as possible. And Qui-Gon Jinn is immediately in trouble. We got two taunters, though. Um, R2 is going to do an AoE, which is going to suck. All right, let's keep going through General Kenobi. I do like having Ezra on this team, and Flourish is really turning into be a pretty great Zeta, and one that I think that you guys should probably consider if you want to run Ezra. I think you'd probably it would probably work without Flourish, but that it's just such a big boost in damage. Um, I think you guys would really benefit from it. Okay, let's do Grandmaster's training. We got, um, uh, let's see, let's call uh, General Kenobi this time and Ezra. All right. All right, let's see here. Let's take General Kenobi out. Boom, okay, General Kenobi's out. Next, I'm going to go for a Raid Han because he's squishy and he deals so much damage. All right, I think we're doing pretty well on this one. This battle actually seems to be progressing quite a bit faster I think we got more DPS on this team with Ezra and Qui-Gon Jinn together. Um, General Kenobi's in trouble, but I think we'll be okay. All right, let's give Grandmaster's training to Qui-Gon Jinn this time. All right, we're doing good, doing good. Let's call, um, all right, let's go through Thrawn. Oh, an R2 stealth, that really, oh, I hate when I have to go for Commander Luke because he can just recharge. I usually save, and people may disagree, but I usually save Commander Luke for the end of battles, 
uh, because his his recharge just could kill your progress. Um, so um, I try not to uh, do him right away, but you know. It's your prerogative. Um, whatever works best for you. It, it's just if he does call to action, you could be in trouble. So I'm going to try to burn through him as quickly as I can here. Let's call, um, oh geez, let's call Qui-Gon. Hopefully we can get this before he does call to action. He might have one coming. Oh, that was the worst combo where Thrawn goes and call to action comes right after. Okay, let's give this to old Ben. Okay, so we started off really strong, but then that just kind of killed our progress as you can see. So I'm going to leave Commander Luke alone. Let's get rid of R2-D2 here. And then we'll take out Commander Luke at the end. Looks like old Ben's going to die, but I think we'll still be fine. Boom, and that's going to take care of the battle. So three for three with Jedi adding Hermit Yoda. And I'm here to tell you that I think that Hermit Yoda is going to be able to make Jedi viable in the arena. I'm not going to say they're going to be meta, and I would like to test him out on defense as well at some point and see if we can get rid of Hermit Yoda enough to um, allow that team to not heal as frequently. But I was definitely able to handle those meta teams pretty easily with those first three teams, and I'm sure there's a bunch of different combinations you could run. I'd really like to see uh, what Zeta Barris looks like in there. I'd like to see what Anakin looks like in there. Um, and then maybe throw General Kenobi as the leader so when Yoda does his big heal attack, um, everyone's going to swarm as well. So you got swarm after swarm after swarm. A lot of different options you guys can try out. I think Jedi are definitely not terrible anymore. As much as I'd love to see certain Jedi get a rework, these Jedi are working in the arena against the current meta right now if you throw in Hermit Yoda. So, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, as always, please, of course, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't ever forget... For my dead body. Sorry about the mess.